Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just saw 444 on my clock and I just missed it to show you guys. Um, bummer. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Susan Don Ascension Connections. Welcome back to another sacred channeling. I usually, I can't plan these. I wanted to plan these. There are still a couple of channelings that I want to do. Kuan Yin has been coming in over the past several weeks for me and I still want to channel with her. Um, but I ended up doing my own uh, work with her over the past weekend and uh, more information is coming in so she's not quite ready yet so we will um, be channeling her in the near future. There's some more that I want to be picking up on here on the channel so make sure that you're staying tuned. I have close to personal readings and bookings um, services except for emergency support services so um, I'm going to have some more time for these collective readings which I'm really being called to. The reason why I'm jumping on is because this morning I had channeled a Ascension energy update and it was interesting to me because it was a very powerful energy that was coming through and I posted it. I It's on my community tab over on my main channel, Susan Dawn Spiritual Connections. Make sure you're subscribed over there as well. I posted it on my social media platforms um, and then I went to work. And I have sat with this energy all day. And um, when I got home, I felt the push to step on here and do some more channeling. Um, when I, This was not in the written channeling that I did this morning. But when I was pulling cards, I was getting the energy of Excalibur. And Merlin energy, King Arthur energy, Avalon energy has been coming through... Um, I want to say for the greater part of a year. In some of my collective channelings, you'll hear me mention King Arthur, especially as the example of divine masculine energy. You've heard me mention Merlin. Um, you've heard me mention the dragons. You've even heard me mention reference to um, Avalon and this new energy of, of Avalon coming through. Um, well, that's what's coming through now. So I wanted to hop on and read to you guys the written channeling that I had done. Then we're going to pull some more cards and just see what else wants to come through. So this is going to be an impromptu um, channeling here. And we're going to have more of these. Um, I was hoping to do one for the full moon that's coming up, um, as well as for, you know, looking ahead into the remainder of the year. Um, but this wanted to come through first, so we're just going to go with it. So I was gifted this Mists of Avalon Oracle by one of the community members. Thank you so much. This was an amazing surprise. Um, and we're going to use the same deck that I had pulled from this morning. Let me read to you guys. I'm so scattered right now because I literally just hit record. <laughs> I literally was not prepared for this. Um, but the energy just was so strong that I just wanted to hop on. Okay. So, this is what I had channeled this morning. It's, again, posted everywhere. Powerful energies are coming through in today's reading, with spirit reminding us that this is a powerful time that we are living and taking part in. A few weeks ago, Lady Portia came in with a message that all is happening as it's meant to, that there is a divine order within the seemingly chaotic and often painful experience of our human world. Now, what's interesting is I had mistakenly typed Lady Nada instead of Lady Portia. It was the, I went back and I looked at that channeling and it was Lady Portia's card that came through, but it was the energy of Lady Nada. So as I'm typing out this um, channeling this morning, as I'm channeling this morning, I'm something's nagging at me and I'm saying, wait a minute, this isn't right. This energy is different. There's two energies coming through here. And so I looked back and that was Lady Portia and they said, yes, but Lady Nada is here too. So Lady Nada also stepped in and said, uh, we're reminded that this is part of our expansion. The world's heart is opening, and that's Lady Nada's energy. The world's heart is opening through our global ascension. As the light shines on the shadows, all of the cracks are being revealed. The old energy, the ways of thought, beliefs, and understandings has to be purged, dismantled, and deconstructed in order for new creations to take root and the cracks to be filled and mended with the tenets of love. We're in a time of transition, which is where the chaos and the confusion is coming from. 
the old paradigm and templates of human experience, which include systems and structures based purely on the tangible and in distorted frequencies of corruption, greed, and control, are ending while a new energy based in harmony, unity, and love is being birthed. Spirit is highlighting the word energy here. This is an energy that is being birthed from the collective shift in human consciousness. As truth reigns, clarity is gained, and sovereignty and self-empowerment are recognized, our perceptions of the world shift into higher understanding. This then begins to take physical form as we embody the higher conscious state. Um, listen to that again, or feel free to go and check out the written channeling for that, um, because that was very powerful energy that was coming through. Um, essentially, what they're saying is, we're birthing that new earth. We already have birthed that new earth, but we're continuing to birth the new energy in order to really ground that into our physical experience because as within, so without, right? We say that all the time, but what does that mean? It means we are shifting in consciousness. And as we shift in consciousness, we create from a new plane, a new plane of experience, a new plane of consciousness, a new dimension. And so we are really creating our physical world based on the new thoughts, the new beliefs, the new mindsets that have shifted from the old energies of greed, corruption, you know, all this stuff that was really low vibrational that was really holding us down. The emperor and the empress showed up as a pair, highlighting an emphasis on this balanced state of being. The pendulum that had been at a fixed point within distorted masculine energy has broken free and is being healed through the feminine energy. This is not man versus woman, male versus female. This is the union of energies that exist through nature and within ourselves. For those in sacred partnerships, your union with each other is the epitome of this healing and all loving energy that help usher in this shift to oneness. Okay, so we had... Just to um, explain it, we had the Ace of Swords, which was giving me that Excalibur energy. We had the Ten of Swords, and we had the Emperor come out. And then on the bottom of the deck, it was the Empress. And she was right there, right after the Emperor came out. And so I was really getting this Twin Flame energy, the Sacred Partnership energy. And this is what we channel here on my channel. We channel the Sacred Union Path of Ascension when you're in partnership with your counterpart. Um, the energies of the masculine and the feminine working together. Now, this could be your inner union, your inner masculine and feminine, because this is, again, within all of existence, within all of creation, within all of nature. We see the masculine and the feminine principle in balance. What's happened on this planet is we've really become out of balance because the feminine energy has been so suppressed. Um, but balance is what nature, our nature, is all about. Um, it could also be within a sacred partnership, a union with another, someone who matches your frequency, someone who is your, your soul signature, that twin flame, that soul connection. So it could be play out in a number of different ways. Take it as it resonates for you. Um, but it's always going to be your inner masculine and feminine as well. You just might be experiencing that within an outward partnership with, with another, with your person. Um, but what was interesting was it was the feminine and the masculine energy within the emperor and the empress. That was the divine pair. That was the healed energy. And that's what you've been going through on your ascension journey. You have been healing any of those distortions, any of these old beliefs, those old mindsets, uh, reaching new understanding through your connection to yourself and your connection to God's source energy. Through your connection within this ascension journey, you have been ascending. And so it was really beautiful how the emperor and the empress came out together, essentially together, just reminding us of the union. Um, and union is oneness. Union is coming together in that harmony, in that peace, and in that balance. So we were also channeling um, Excalibur energy, and I'm trying to remember, they're, yeah, they're bringing it forth. When I first pulled the Ace of Swords, what they came through with was clarity is reigning. Truth and clarity is reigning. It was this energy of the cream always rises to the top. Um, it might take some time, 
but truth and clarity always reign, as does your integrity. And so embodying your sacred truth, embodying that integrity is really going to be important. That's what you're doing on this ascension journey is you're remembering who you are and embodying your higher self. And with that, you have this higher level of integrity. What is integrity? It is authenticity. It is dignity. It is self-respect, self-empowerment. Um, it is connection to yourself, to the truth of yourself, not to the, the ego and not to the influence and not to the outer, but to the inner world, to your soul, to your divinity within. Um, so it was really, um, I couldn't get it all in there, that's why I wanted to come in and do this. Um, but it was really a, a strong channeling that didn't feel like it was completed. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull some more cards and just kind of see um, if we can get some more. If we can see what else they have to say. It's been a while since we've done this. I'm using, again, the Mists of Avalon Oracle deck. And let's see what wants to come through. What else wants to come through here? Um, okay, so what I'm seeing in my third eye is Avalon. And Avalon is that mythical um, city of King Arthur, Guinevere, Lancelot, um, the Knights of the Round Table. Um, that's been coming through a lot in my channelings over the years. I even had a dream, um, and I'm not going to be able to find it right now. Nope, they want me to because it's important. It came through in the beginning when I first started here, um, so I might have to do some digging, but let's see. Okay, I found it. Wonder of wonders, I found it. So this was back in December 5th, 2020, so two years ago. Um, I'm just going to read it because... It's just easier to do that. Last night I had a dream. It was filled with a lot of subconscious ridiculousness, the way dreams usually are, but I woke up with one specific part standing out and spirit asking me to share it. My divine counterpart and I were in the ruins of a castle surrounded by loved ones and people I didn't recognize consciously but knew in the dream. He and I were part of a small, small group of four or five standing in the middle of a room, broken stone walls and dirt beneath our feet. We were taking turns, each of us speaking in earnest about, about that room, explaining our shared vision to the crowd. I stepped forward, the last to speak, words coming from my heart. Then I started to sing. Two round tables, kept repeating over and over throughout the song. And indeed before us was the broken remains of a stone round table. I knew what I was trying to say to the crowd, what we were trying to say. Camelot. Avalon, Arthur, Merlin, the energy is returning, that is what they represent, magic, honor, integrity, wisdom, a golden age, but rather than a single round table, it's expanding, two round tables, what shape does that make? Infinity, this energy is here to stay, but only if we welcome it in together and believe in its possibility. I had actually forgotten that part. I remember the dream with the table, um, the broken table, the, the ruins. I remember my divine masculine being there. I remember it was all about Avalon and Camelot, um, Arthur, but I did not remember the symbolism of the two round tables and the, the infinity sign, what that creates. It creates this infinity. And what I'm actually seeing is we're coming online. It's almost like when you when you see an infinity sign, it looks like this. Let me draw it. You guys know what it looks like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it anyway. Poor drawing, but here it is. So it's it's two loops, right? Two circles. I mean, imagine that they're actually um, uniform. <laughs> I can't draw. So imagine that they're actually uniform. It's two circles, right? Two circles right next to each other. Let's do it like this. Okay, so it's more like this. It's more like, it still doesn't do it justice. It's, it's like this. It's two circles, completely uniform, no overlap. But what happens is it makes this perfect figure eight. And you it goes 
It goes with the flow. Goes with the flow. It's never ending. It's infinity. That's what it represents. It re represents forever. It represents infinity. It represents even I'm hearing divinity. And so what I'm hearing is there was a part of this and they're bringing me to DNA. It's almost like our DNA went offline. Our DNA was in a way broken. Our program, our internal programming was broken. And so the flow of energy, the natural flow of our divinity was broken. Um, it was almost like it, I'm hearing the word short circuited. And so what happened was the energy couldn't flow anymore. It couldn't flow, it was broken. What's happening is it's coming back online. We're coming back online. This is what our ascension journey is all about. It's not just about the healing, the remembering. It's about the, well, the, the healing of our very DNA, the healing of our very um, genetic makeup, the healing of our, our consciousness so that we understand our wholeness, our infinite nature, our infinite wholeness. No longer fragmented, no longer broken, but whole. So, okay. They pulled back from that message, but that felt important. So let's see what else. What else do they want to say today? What was I talking about? Excalibur. That is exactly what came out. And this was the card that I pulled this morning, this Ace of Swords. And that's what I was seeing. I was seeing Excalibur. I've not used this deck yet. I haven't even shuffled this deck yet. Excalibur is what wanted to come out to show you the truth. What had been hidden is being revealed. This is about the truth of who you are, the divine nature of who you are. There is so much that's coming to the surface right now. I'm also seeing the... I don't know if that's a 2 or if that's an 11, but the, the 11 number right there as well. Divine Partnerships playing a crucial part in this. Um, part of the shift in consciousness, part of the ascension journey, part of spiritual awakening is understanding that the way you were seeing things is not the whole truth. It's part of it. But it's not the whole picture. We don't really see the bigger picture until we take a step back, until we look at that bird's eye view, right? Until we pull back. Before our spiritual awakening, we really get stuck in the routine, thinking that all life is is what's before us. Maybe it's, you know, our friends and going out and family and relationships and sex and food and and concerts and all this stuff all the stuff that we like as humans right but we think that that's all there is that's only scratching the surface of what there is there's so much more especially in the energetic realm there's so much more that we can't see but we just our energy just plunged our frequencies plunged so that's all that we could see that's all that we thought there was when we go through the spiritual awakening, we begin to understand that there's so much more beneath the surface. There's so much more meaning. There's so much more connection. There's so much more that is invisible to our regular sight. That's where we say our inner mind, our third eye, because we see things with new sight. Ascension is the rapid acceleration of our spiritual awakening. It's a higher level of spiritual awakening where we really begin to look at the shadows. We really begin to bring those shadows to light. We really begin to remember on the highest level the truth of who we are, our multidimensionality, our gifts, our abilities, especially our connection to the universe as a whole. And recognizing and remembering as well that the universe is part of us. The universe is inside of us. We are part of the universe as well. We are more than our physical bodies. We are more than who we think that we are. We are more than our identity. We are lifetimes. We are source energy. We are the universe. We are soul. We are it's the I am presence. We are. We understand that there's so much more. But until we begin to really awaken 
until we really begin to shift in our perspective, shift in our consciousness by shifting our frequency, we're unable to see that. We're just so stuck in our old ways of living and old ways of being and old routines. But the more, the closer you get to awakening, the more you feel like, oh, this doesn't feel right to me anymore. This feels boring. This feels like it's that existential crisis. It's like you're searching for the meaning of life, not recognizing that the meaning of life is within you. The meaning of life is within you. They're highlighting that phrase and they want me to make that the title of the video. The meaning of life is within you. Um, and that's what you're searching for all along. That connection to yourself, which is your connection to God's source, the universe. So this truth is being seen. This truth is being revealed, but there's so much more. There's so much more yet beneath the surface. And this ascension journey is not a one-stop shop. It's not once and done. It continues. There are different phases of your ascension journey, but it's continuous. Imagine how vast the universe is. If you think you know it all, if you think you're enlightened, you're not there yet. <laughs> because that's that's there for for spiritual ego it's there to humble you to recognize that there is so much more there is an infinite amount of knowledge and truth and and understanding to be gleaned and the more you go along this ascension journey the more you begin to really understand this there is so much power in connecting with your truth of who you are, your authentic self, your soul self. There's so much strength in understanding who you truly are and not just your identity, what you identity, identify with, who you identify with. That's all part of the human experience. But we have to integrate what we learn spiritually with the human experience, understanding that there's so much more. There's just so much more. All right, so that was beautiful confirmation. Let's see what else they want to say. We're not done. This is going to be a quick recording, but what they're saying is we're not done um, with um, this Camelot Avalon energy. We're not done with Excalibur yet, they're saying. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, it's like what I'm getting is this phrase. Those who don't believe in dragons will never see one. Um, and I think that I've heard that somewhere else in reference to something else. Um, it's that the energy of those who don't believe in miracles will never experience one, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm getting here. And look at this. You have the yin and the yang represented. You see this red dragon. You see this white dragon. And you see how they're forming this kind of circle here. This is representing the yin and the yang, the balance, the harmony. But if you don't believe in, in dragons, you'll never see one. Um, that's the veil that's being lifted. As we go through our ascension journey, we're beginning to understand that more and more, there's more energy. <laughs> um, they're, they're quoting Shakespeare to me. It's um, from Hamlet. There's more that is dreamt of in, I can't I can't when I'm channeling it's there are more things in heaven and earth Horatio than are dreamt of in your philosophy um, our human minds are pretty limited um, but our imaginations are infinite our imaginations our our capabilities possibilities potentials are limitless we don't often believe that though because again our conditioning our patterning um our programming makes us believe that we are limited but that's this energy here dragons are, are coming back um ethereal creatures that we have believed in unicorns um they're coming back and when i say coming back i mean to be able to be perceived with our own eyes but do you believe? Do you believe? We have the card or the word integration here as well. And what was I just saying? We have to be able to integrate everything we learn and experience through this ascension journey spiritually 
into the human. We're bringing that heaven down to physical being, down to the physical plane. That's what ascension is all about. It's about going deeper within, bringing that higher consciousness into physical form. There's so much more. I, th we can feel the energy of dragons. We can feel the energy of our ascended master, spirit guides, guardian angels, angels, um, galactic council. We can feel this. We channel this. We can feel this energy. Even if you're not going through the ascension journey, even if you feel like your gifts aren't opened, you can still feel the energy of things. Even if you can't see it. It's starting to be seen again. It's, it only can't be seen because our consciousness had fallen. Our frequency fell. They're such high frequency beings that we couldn't match that. But going through the ascension journey, now we can. Okay. I feel, I feel like there's so much that wants to come in. Yeah, look, the mists of Avalon. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you see, seeing through the mist, that's, that's what I'm trying to get through. I'm having a really hard time articulating this energy because there's so much that wants to be said and so much that wants to come through. And I feel like this was just the tip of the iceberg. So we are going to have more coming at a later time um i do feel like the energy of camilla and avalon is building um this truth being revealed there's going to be more and more coming through um this is what i'm trying to to articulate just because you can't see it through the mist doesn't mean it's not there just because you can't see it with your physical eyes doesn't mean it doesn't exist we're moving through that mist right now we're starting to see things take, take shape. Dragons that are supporting us, that have always supported us, cosmically, are beginning to take shape. I had a healing session, um, a very powerful healer, uh, a couple of days ago, and I was connecting to God. And during that healing session, I, I was working on separation energy between me and God. And all of a sudden, in my third eye, I saw a vision of... Um, the Sophia dragon coming in, encircling me, and resting within my heart, um, getting smaller and smaller as it approached me, um, and resting within my higher heart, um, lying down, curling up, a reminder that it's always there. The strength, the love, the connection is always there. And then I felt myself growing beautiful, powerful wings as one with that energy. It's a reminder that we're always connected, a reminder that you are divinely supported, a reminder that you are guided. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there, but things are beginning to take shape. You're beginning to see. You're beginning to see more clearly through the fog of lower consciousness, through the fog of that lower vibration and lower density energy. You're beginning to see, and that's part of what ascension and waking up, spiritual awakening is all about. You're awakening to a new perspective, a new understanding, a new connection within yourself. You're awakening to, I'm hearing your higher self, which is your connection to God's source. You're awakening to, I don't have another word for it other than consciousness. It's, it's the whole you're awakening to the whole where before we might have had pieces of the puzzle and we thought that's all there was it's a great bigger puzzle out there it's a great bigger puzzle um and there's that divine masculine energy king arthur um i was just gonna say and these sacred partners play a part because I'm not going to get deep into that. I think we're going to be done for today. Um, but you as sacred partners, you play a part um, because you are the epitome of masculine and feminine energy embodied. You are the epitome of union, unity, and oneness. As you come in together in your sacred union, as you heal, as you ascend, 
You are the epitome of new earth energy. You and your sacred partner. And you're playing a crucial, crucial part. We're going to, I think that's going to be part two. So we're going to have more th with that. All right, you guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to sit with this energy and see if there's any more. Um, and we will be back sometime in the near future. I'm sending you guys so much love and so much light. And we'll see you soon. Bye.